okay, I have a bachelor's degree in science, and I don't think that makes me better than anybody, but I do think that it gives me the ability to speak on the topic of evolution, because my major was in biology, and I was like two courses away from a minor in chemistry. So I know a little bit of chemistry, and I know a little bit of biology. And basically what science tells us is that this process known as the Big Bang occurs, okay? And then we have, you know, galaxies and stars form. And then later on, as the planet cools down, we have, you know, different chemicals form, and these chemicals begin to combine in different form ways. And slowly we have evolution over the process taking billions of years. But this makes us think that life has no purpose. After all, we are the product of random errors, because that is basically what a mutation is, random errors. So there's no reason for us to exist, and our life doesn't really have a purpose. Now, I'm not saying that I'm anything great, but I mean, think about it. If somebody tells you that your life doesn't have any purpose, and that you're the product of random errors, you're not going to think you're very special in any way. I think that the one thing that religion does is it gives us the idea that there's something better waiting for us, something better than what we're in right now, and also that there are consequences. If you're bad in this life, you know, something bad will happen to you in the next one. If you're good in this life, something good will happen to you in the next one. And that's basically the idea behind religion. But some people will say there's no God, and we, we evolved from apes, and that we're still apes. And I remember telling this to a teacher, and I remember saying this, to, telling this to other people. Uh, and what I said, basically, was something like this. I said to the teacher, you're saying that we are all apes. Yes, yes, we're all apes. Okay? Then why is calling someone an ape racism? And of course, you know, what teachers usually will tell you is shut up and I don't want to talk to you anymore and, and don't cause any more trouble and just shut up. And basically that's it. Why would calling someone an ape be racism if we're all apes? Certainly, if I'm an ape and someone calls me an ape, then I would say, well, that's what I am. It's kind of like if somebody calls a redhead a redhead, is that racism? I don't think so. What if somebody has uh, green socks and someone says, Oh, just give it to the guy with the green socks, and, and that's racism because he used the color green? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, the idea that I have is that a lot of what scientists say does not conform to reality. You know, if we are the product of evolution, and there's no reason for us to exist, and there's no reason for anything, then maybe it doesn't really matter what we do, because there's not going to be a life you know, waiting for us after this one. It doesn't really matter what we say. It doesn't matter what we think. But if there is a God, and there are consequences, then maybe it does matter what we say and what we do. So, I think that when I look at how beautiful creation is, I don't think it's a product of random errors. I mean, think about it. Look at two paintings. One is a beautiful masterpiece in a museum. The other one, I just grab some paint and splatter it on a canvas. Now, don't you think that I can tell the difference between the two? I think so. One is the product of random errors, and the other one is the product of, of thought, you know, intelligent design. So I think that the creation that I see looks like the product of intelligent design. It does not look like someone splattering paint on a canvas. It does not look like the product of random errors. I mean, that's just my belief, but, you know, you know please comment below on what your belief is.